Hello, welcome to Dr. Eric Brayman's radio show here on WOR. We're here every Sunday, 8 p.m., 8 to 9, 888-304-PATH. That's 888-304-7284. And we have a real treat tonight. We have retired Detective Sean McCaffrey from the New York State. He was a police officer, 9-11 responder. He has a tremendously interesting story. I can't wait to get to it. Let's jump right in. Sean, welcome to WOR, Dr. Brayman. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, really, Sean, I, I say this from the bottom of my heart. It's a privilege to have you here as a 9 11 uh, responder. Um, tell us quickly how you got involved with 9 11. Well, at the time, I was a sergeant assigned to the Detective Bureau in the 7 2 Detective Squad in Brooklyn. Uh, as everybody was recalled that day, and uh, we all pitched in to help. Uh, you know, every day we were assigned to do something. For about six months, we worked 12 hour tours with no days off at one of the recovery sites, which was either the landfill in Staten Island, the morgue, or the 9-11 site itself, Ground Zero. Most of, most of my time was at the landfill, but I did do uh, a lot of time at the, yes, the original site. I understand, Sean, it's pretty gruesome work. You're pro one of your responsibilities to find body parts, is that correct? Yes, it is. That was pretty tough, and uh, you told me about the smell. Yes, well, there's, uh, bodies, uh, human bodies, when they decompose, have a unique smell. That as a police officer, you become quite accustomed to, uh, and uh, you get used to smelling it, and the whole area at Ground Zero had that smell. You couldn't really find where it was coming from because it was just everywhere. It was so pervasive. So you were there for months, 12 hours a day. Uh, eventually, something happened to you uh, with your health. What, were your, what health issues kind of cropped up? Well, it's like, uh, like you heard on, in all the news reports and everything. I had the persistent cough. I had... Uh, um, uh, I was diagnosed with several different disorders uh, in the summer of 2002. Uh, one, of the, one of the worst was I, I could not sleep at night. I, I could not lay down. felt like I was drowning. Um, I had heartburn that was very severe. It was uh, diagnosed later on as uh, uh, stomach disorders from breathing in all of the toxic waste. And I had uh, lesions in my stomach and in my uh, throat. Um, I had... Uh, Reactive airway disease, small airway disease, uh, small capillary disease or something. I contracted asthma. Um, wow. I, I had a, a ton of things, uh, including hearing loss. Uh, wow. So, so you went to a number of different doctors, didn't you? I went to several specialists, which were very good doctors, and they helped me out, but the, the systems persisted. So uh, how many about how many doctors did you see, would you say? Oh, I was seeing, uh, regularly I was seeing about five doctors. Five different doctors. Eventually, you got to the point, you said, I, I got to find, I got to ha take another path here. I got to mm -hmm. find out something uh, different. Well, I, I saw many of my uh, fellow responders uh, getting extremely sick and some dying. So I knew if I wanted to be around for my, my wife and my six children. Six children. I had to do something drastic. So um, I had been listening to the radio and I heard about Dr. Uh, Braverman at Path Medical's approach and uh, I decided to give it a try. That's great. You're listening to WOR. Here we are, WOR, uh, yes. every Sunday, 8 p.m. Hey, by the way, 888-304-PATH. Give us a call, 888-304-7284. If you are experiencing any of these first responder issues, whether you are a first responder or not, whether it's uh, asthma, shortness of bre breathing, lesions in your, in your throat or your stomach, uh, any of those troubles sleeping 888-304-PATH we're in the middle of a very in interesting story Sean so you came to see Dr. Braverman what happened well Dr. Braverman gave me a very extensive uh, examination uh, it took a few days it was very long very extensive they explained everything they were doing took a lot of tests that I didn't think had anything to do with my condition but uh, you know the, the whole body is involved including the brain and um, Dr. Braverman was very very involved uh he was very concerned and uh, as a hardened uh, street cop i was very i was very taken back by his uh, concern for me and my family uh, you know he's and uh it, it was within six months my breathing w was almost it wasn't normal but within a year i was breathing normal and uh a few years later i'm uh, i'm feeling uh you know almost back to normal and I understand you do recommend Dr. Brayman to other, your other first responders. I recommend them to anyone, anybody that uh, tells me they're having any health problems. One last piece of w question, which I find very interesting. Sean, I know you were in charge of a white-collar crime unit 
correct? Yes. I, I was actually, for a while, I was the acting CO, commanding officer of the uh, NYPD Special Fraud Squad, which investigates white collar crime for the NYPD. So you are very familiar with white collar crime. Yes, I am. So uh, what would you say about Dr. Braveman in relationship? Well, I, I don't think anything, I don't think Dr. Braveman has anything to do with any kind of crime. Uh, no fraud. No fraud whatsoever. Okay, so if you have any uh, doubts, give us a call, 888-304-4PATH, 888-304-7284. Sean, it's been such a pleasure. Things go so fast, but first responders, anyone, if you have these issues, you know, it's a great uh, testimony to have Sean here. We appreciate you. 888-304-PATH. Any last words, Sean? No, I just want to thank Dr. Braveman from the bottom of my heart. And my family thanks him. Thank you.